TFT LCD is an abbreviation for a thin film transistor liquid crystal display. TFT panel cross-section is shown in the picture. Let us consider the structure of TFT matrix in detail. The upper polarizer can polarize the scattered light from random polarization into a given direction of polarization. Before an electric field is applied to the electrodes, the liquid crystals are lined in a twisted structure. The light in this case changes in accordance with the twisted picture of liquid crystals. The lower polarizer is directed perpendicularly to the upper polarizer. When the light reaches the lower polarizer, both polarizers become aligned with each other. The light can pass through them. With the help of high-precision photolithographic technologies, a pattern for sequential stepwise transfer of LCD electrodes images is applied to a base glass. The TFT glass has as many transistors as a number of pixels in a display, and the generation of color is provided by the glass of the color filter, which is the chroma filter. The motion liquid crystals is caused by a potential difference between the electrodes located on the TFT glass and on the glass of the color filter. And it's this motion of liquid crystals that leads to generation of colors. And it's the motion that also determines the brightness of the LCD. Liquid crystals represent almost transparent substances which display properties of both crystals and liquids. There are two glass plates which are sealed with epoxy resin and have a gap in the left corner. They make it possible to inject the liquid crystals in vacuum before the final sealing of the glass plates. The potential difference determines the orientation of liquid crystals. Differences in orientation of liquid crystals lead to differences in transmission or reflection coefficients and therefore to differences in the colors in the, in the case when polarizers and color filters are used. Liquid crystals demonstrate different phases, solid body, liquid crystal or liquid, and different temperatures. Leveling film is applied to the two glass plates, upper and lower, and has a number of parallel grooves that ensure the alignment of liquid crystal molecules in the proper direction. When a voltage is applied to two electrodes on the LCD, the higher the applied potential is, the faster liquid crystals molecules unwind. Sensitivity to electrical voltage is one of the main features of liquid crystals. The figure shows the normal wide LCD mode. The light can pass through the layers of liquid crystals until a potential difference is applied to them, and liquid crystal molecules change the orientation of the light plane in accordance with their own angles. However, when a voltage is applied, liquid crystal molecules will untwist and straighten the light on its way to the upper polarizing filter. Therefore, the light cannot pass through the active area of the LCD, and this area will be darker than the surrounding areas. The figure shows a liquid crystal's control circuit. Within a selected period of time, the switch is closed and the input voltage is applied to liquid crystals, which leads to change in the orientation of liquid crystal molecules. When a switch is turned off, a sudden charge is still retained in CLC and the voltage on the CLC will drop with time. To enhance the charge storage capacitors, we might consider adding a storage capacitor CST in parallel to the CLC. In fact, liquid crystals control should be implemented using an alternation voltage. In order to activate an LCD, a voltage is applied only when the switch is on. The switch turns off immediately after that. In some cases, the voltage across the liquid crystals will drop due to leakages. To prevent this situation, we can use a parallel capacitor to compensate the leakage voltage. As the capacitance CST increases, the voltage form across it approximates to the MANDA. TFT acts as a switch. The TFT gate lead is connected to the scan line, the source output is connected to a data line, and the drain output is connected to the CLC and the CST. When a gate is activated, selected in the scan line, the TFT channel opens and the image data will be recorded in the CLC and the CST. When a gate is not selected, the TFT channel is closed. The basis of the TFT LCD structure is represented by liquid crystals, two polarizers and glass plates, the upper color filter base and the lower TFT array base. Liquid crystal material is injected between the two glass plates. By controlling the value of the input voltage applied to liquid crystals, we can change the arrangement of the molecules, their orientation and direction, what will lead to an appropriate change of the light flux passing through the liquid crystals. When the light flux passes through the color filter integrated into the upper colored glass,
Each individual pixel of an image is formed by mixing the basic color RGB elements R red, G green, and B blue. In the red, green, and blue elements of a pixel are selected in equal proportion. White light will be formed. By adjusting the ratio of these three elements, we can get the required number of different colors.